Hi, and welcome to What's the Tea in l and &E. I'm Leah. I'm Emily. And we are management side employment lawyers for Woods Rogers to Van Deveter Black. And we are celebrating our one year uh, anniversary for What's the Tea. It's been one year since you recorded the first episode, so thank you for tuning back in. We've really enjoyed doing this. So, Emily, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about bogus excuses oh. heard for not showing up to work. No, really? People have those? <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a call from a client recently who said, all right, I got one for you. Employee calls in. This is an important technician. Manufacturing plant is doing an important changeover of machine machinery the next day. Um, employee says, I can't make it into work today, Emily, because I am dog or cat sitting for my brother and uh, there are ants in the cat bowl so that I need to stay here and clean up. So let me get this straight. Ants in the cat bowl needs the entire day off, and this yeah. is like crunch time for a big project at work they're involved yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Reasonable? Well, it depends on what the policy says, because if your mm. policy says that all you have to do is submit PTO that you've earned in the system at any time for any reason, you automatically get it, it really ties the hands of management. On the other hand, if it's subject to approval and management's discretion, yes, if it's a really bad time when it's the very last second, you can deny that. And you can't make them show up but what can you do? Yeah, you can discipline them. It could be uh, deemed an unexcused absence. And I think you wanna build that flexibility into your policy because you may need to get control of some situations, right, from a fairness perspective. Mm -hmm. Also, it is reasonable, So I, I, I sometimes think that it's a good approach that an employer has to have an employee call in, and when they call in, they have to give you their reason for the need for leave, mm -hmm. okay? Even if they have PTO and they're following the policy. And that's because it might be that they're taking off time for depression or a different medical issue or to care for a spouse or something. And it might be something that should be FMLA covered and this is putting the employer on notice. Or if someone's saying, hey, the employer should have been on notice, um, you know, and I had all these, the, you know, all this time off for medical reasons, but you've got it well documented that it was really them taking time off for, you know, cleaning up cats and, uh, you know, ants in a cat bowl, cats in an ant bowl. <laughs> um, then, uh, uh, you know, that works in your favor. Absolutely. And we also get calls sometimes about employees abusing the system. What? No. <laughs> I can't believe that. Never. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. But, you know, somebody calls and like, oh, my car is, is breaking down. Like, I'm having issues. I just need some time to get another ride or get to the garage. We've all been there. We all yeah. understand. Reasonable excuse. Absolutely. So you make do until they can get there. And when they do come, they stroll in with a venti frappuccino, extra whip, oh, extra no. caramel sauce. Oh, it's and setting. The other employees that's trying to cover for them are like, what the heck? I thought you had car problems. Yeah, that at least warrants a discussion, right? Yeah. Pull that employee aside. Explain to them that's a bad judgment call. Everybody else has been picking up your slack. Um, and again, you know, it, it really comes down to picking your battles too, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, if employees are productive, they're getting the work done. That's really all that matters. Um, don't be over, don't over micromanage, you know, um, PTO and start times, things like that. But honestly, if you've got a workforce where you have to do it, this it might be something that you need to address within your policy. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you here next time for more What's the Tea.